Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tech with Joanne. I'm Joanne, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to start accepting cryptocurrency into your business. So, a lot of you actually have businesses, or you're selling things, you're trying to, you know, create this space online, and accepting crypto is a very good way to actually increase your sales. Um, it's, it's a good way to increase your audience and not just accept um, your typical fiat currency but actually getting into that crypto space and building up your cryptocurrency as well and allowing customers who like to pay for things using crypto to now shop within um, your space for whatever it is that you're selling. So today's video is featuring uh, Coinbase. This is not in any way sponsored. Uh, it's just something that I know is a really good product uh, and it's super easy to use. Um, I think Coinbase is pretty much everywhere um, so it's really easy for you guys to sign up and get started and actually um, start accepting crypto inside of your businesses all right so first things first is you need to go to commerce.coinbase.com make your way to that site I'll have the link in the description as well and we're just gonna go over um, the basis of it a little bit and then we'll get into signing up and how to actually start accepting cryptocurrency for whatever it is that you are selling. All right, guys. So once you go to commerce.coinbase.com, you can see it just gives you a nice little platform and up front it shows you um, a quick little design of how it would look for your product that you're actually selling. So you have like the little image over here of the product and then it has a basic checkout. So it looks pretty much like any checkout that you would see online um, or in a mobile app. Um, it has a basic user interface but the only difference is that instead of it having um, check out with your PayPal or entering your credit card information, what it has is it has the button for you to check out with Coinbase and it has the different currencies, cryptocurrencies down here that your users will be able to select. So you can see right here, it has them, you can select it from here and then you'll be able to go ahead and they'll be able to pay for your products really quickly the only thing they would need to do is you know have their wallets connected and then boom they can go ahead and actually pay through your coinbase um your coinbase merchant platform i don't know what else to call it but pretty much you're the merchant so this is your merchant interface and this is what it would look like forward facing for your customers all right so they have here it's fast to set up easy to convert which means you can convert your crypto into um your fiat pretty easily um irreversible which means chargebacks and i know that's the problem with a lot of uh businesses as far as like, especially when you sell products and things like that um chargebacks can be an issue with people getting things and then you know you know you know how chargebacks works um with crypto you don't have to worry about those things and you can receive payments from customers anywhere in the world because it's crypto because it's decentralized literally the transactions can happen from anywhere so it's super easy to do this is a quick look at what it will look what it's going to look like inside of your dash once we sign up you'll be able to see what it looks like in here uh, it's a simple easy dashboard for you the merchant and i really like the fact that it integrates with shopify and woocommerce so if you are using shopify shopify or woo already then it will be super easy for you to integrate this um this coinbase wallet as well so that you can actually start uh, just accepting these payments directly on the platform that you're already using so you don't have to worry about um, just trying to figure out how you're actually going to get your customers to uh, be able to go to this link you'll actually be able to integrate it directly on these platforms and Shopify and Woo are literally um, two of the largest e-commerce platforms so I know a lot of people are using these platforms and I'm not going to show you how to do the integration in this video but if you want me to show you how to do the integration then I will just you know drop me a comment let me know that you want to see how it integrates with Shopify and WooCommerce and I'll definitely do that video for you 
Okay, so next is just, you know, another little screenshot so you can see exactly how it looks. So this is what it will look like. You can see it has your credit card, it has your PayPal, and then it has your Coinbase option. So this is what it will look like if you do the integration. So your customers will be able to see all three options. So if they click on pay with Coinbase, this is what they'll see. And again, they'll be able to um, just go ahead and select which crypto they want to pay with. And then they'll say, okay, go ahead and pay with Coinbase. Okay, so these are all the crypto that uh, they currently accept right now, and these are all the popular ones. Many places are accepting uh, these these specific tokens so that you can actually shop with them. So if you're adding this, it's really good that they have these ones that are here because a lot of people are already using these. So it'll be simple and easy for you to now get your customers into using them as well. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the plans. So they do have two different plans. So they have the self-managed plan and they have the Coinbase managed plan. Um, and we'll just go through it. You both have the same uh, transaction fee. The currency is manual and automatic, which means, okay, manual, it's free conversion into fiat with a connected Coinbase account. Automatic is it's free automatic settlement of crypto or fiat. For funds management, self-managed, manage your private keys yourself. Coinbase managed, Coinbase manages your wallet with insured coverage for your funds. Account setup is immediate with the self-managed. You pretty much just enter your email address, which we're going to do in a few minutes, and you automatically get access to the commerce platform. If you wanna go with Coinbase managed, then there is an application review process, so you have to wait for that to go through. The difference between the two is Coinbase managed is self-explanatory. They will manage everything for you, so that's up to you. Self-managed is you are in control of it, you take care of it, you keep an eye on it, it's yours, so you need to oversee it. We're gonna go with the self-managed because it's immediate sign up, um, and I always like to do self-managed anyway because I'm very involved and I like to manage everything myself. All right, so there's that. Um, so yeah, it's, that's a quick little overview of how everything works. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's sign up for an account, all right? So just go ahead and click get started. And then you want to click the get started button and from here you're just going to enter the email account for your that you want to be associated with your coinbase um, commerce account so go ahead and sign up for this put in your email address select the password and then come right back okay so after you sign up for an account you will get an email for you to verify your email address go ahead and verify your email address and it will bring you to this screen right here so go ahead and click continue and we're going to add some security because of course you always need security on your accounts so you're going to do the two-step verification so you can do with google authenticator if you want um you just or you, you just scan the qr code and then it will give you the six digit um code for you i already have authenticator i use it for most of my platforms to do the two-step authentication so if you don't use the authenticator definitely go ahead and start using it it's just an extra way to secure your accounts so download the um Download the app. There is an app. You can get it on your Android. You can get it on your um, iPhone. You should get it on any phone uh, that you have. So download the app and then just scan the QR code and then it will automatically give you a six digit number for you to authenticate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You do that and then let's come back together. So once you authenticate successfully, you'll come to this next screen. And what you want to do is you want to download the backup codes. It's very, very, very important that you do this. You have to have these codes. If you do not have these codes and something goes wrong with your authenticator, you're going to be up a creek. Um, you need to have these codes. So go ahead and download your backup codes. I'm going to download. Save this file in a very secure place, somewhere that you're not going to lose it on your um, on your laptop because that happens to me a lot. I will download files and then I do not remember where I put it. Um, the place where I think I put it, I didn't. So definitely maybe make a folder and so 
and name the folder something extremely specific so that you don't have to go searching for the file. You'll be able to just see the folder immediately and know what's inside of it. So definitely do that. Secure this file because you're going to need it um, in case you ever need to uh, put in your your um, secure pass your pass phrases. Uh, so definitely go ahead and do that. All right. So now that we have that downloaded, go ahead and click continue. So you need to set up your crypto wallet. So let's go ahead and go, go over this. When your customer pays you, their crypto is sent securely to a wallet that holds all of your crypto. So they'll guide you through your very own crypto wallet. You have complete control of your wallet. Coinbase cannot access the funds. All right, so let's go ahead and click continue. So let's set up our crypto wallet. You To set up your crypto wallet, you need a seed phrase. No one, not a bank, family member, or Coinbase can access your crypto if it's in a wallet unless you have the seed phrase. Your seed phrase acts as the key to your wallet. You must store it somewhere secure, such as a password manager. So definitely these are super important. I'm going to cut off my screen because you guys don't need to see <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing next, but go ahead and Click show my seed phrase. It's super important that you do this because again, you're going to need this information. So again, that's why creating a folder is really good and maybe you know something that is password protected uh, so that no one else can get in your folder if for some reason you share a device or if for some reason your device gets you know lost or stolen or something always make sure you're securing all of this stuff okay so password protect everything uh, so go ahead and click show my seed phrase and then make sure that you get your seed phrase into a secure place all right i'm going to pause it and i'm going to do this step okay so once you have your seed phrase you have it downloaded you have it written down you have it saved somewhere i always do this i have it on my laptop i have it written down um, as a hard copy as well so that for some reason devices you know devices will device um so i always make sure i have hard copies of my secure information as well and i have it stored inside of a very secure place so you have it on your device you have it written down you have it in multiple locations so if something happens to one thing you always have the backup you're going to go ahead and you're going to uh, verify it so you need to type in your seed phrase get that done and then once you do that it's going to ask you to back up your crypto wallet so they strongly recommend um backing up an encrypted version of your wallet so google drive uh, so it says that they'll ask you to sign into Google Drive and do all of this stuff. So you can skip this step if you want, or you can go ahead and you can back it up to Google Drive. So if you decide to go through that Google backup step, you don't have to. You can definitely click the skip the step. Um, then you'll be taken to this page where you're all set and you'll be able to go to your dashboard and we can actually start setting up um, our link so that we can accept crypto into our business. So click on go to dashboard. And this is what it will look like inside. It's super easy. You see your balances. You'll be able to see payments. You have the checkout. You have your invoices and then you have your point of sale. All right, so this is super simple to do. And then what we're going to do next is we're just going to set up the information so that we can uh, have a link so that if someone wants to pay for our things, whatever it is that you're selling, your services, anything, you will, you will be able to have a link to send them so that they can actually click on the link and check out um, with whatever desired crypto they want. So in order for us to be able to um, accept payments with crypto and have people purchase our things. We're just going to go to checkouts and next we're going to create a checkout. So right here, you're just going to name your product. Uh, so whatever it is that you're selling, go ahead and set this up and then we're going to create a checkout for it and it's going to give us a specific link. So I'm just going to do a quick, um, upload of the information for one of my hoodies. So I do have merch black woman in tech. So definitely I'll leave that link in the description box so you can check out the merch, but I'm going to just do uh, one of the hoodies just as an example. Um, I do sell it on the website, but I will be doing it here for an example. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and put in whatever it is that the name of your product is. So I'm just going to copy and paste this information. And then you have your product description. So grab the description if you have it. 
So I'm just going to grab this description. Okay, it's not letting me copy, so let me just type. And then you just want to decide on if you have a fixed price product or if you have a product where your customers are putting in a custom amount. We're going to do fixed price. And then you can just select your currency right here. I'm just going to put in the currency, how much it is. So let's put in the 42.99 and then upload an image. You just grab this image here and upload it. And then what you want to do is you want to decide if you are going to collect names and emails. Always, always, always collect names and emails. Why? Because if you're a business owner, you should be building a list of buyers. These are people who are going to be potentially repeat customers. So never miss the opportunity to collect this important information from them. Because once you have people on your email list, you'll be able to, you know, do email sequences with them. You'll be able to, you know, give them you know, valuable information inside of the email addresses, as well as, you know, offering them special discounts and things like that to whatever it is that you sell. All right. So this is just a quick little preview. Let's click on brand settings and see what that looks like. So right here is where you can actually set up your brand, everything that, you know, your color scheme, all of your, your logo. So you can really make it look like any, you know, fully functioning store. So this is really good to know that you can do the brand settings as well. So I'm just going to go back to what I was on. All right, let me re put it in my stuff because just by clicking that all of my stuff went away. So I just leave it at that. Let me upload the image again. All right, let me put in the price and I'm going to do name and email address. Okay. So once you have all of this information input, then go ahead and click create checkout. So the checkout has been created. Now what you're going to do is you're going to copy this link and you're going to put this link wherever you're selling this product. So if you're selling this product inside of your tree, uh, then definitely create a button and attach this product to it so that, you know, it's there. Or if you want to be able to insert this product inside of an HTML page, they do provide the HTML right here for you. So I'm just going to click on, I'm going to copy the product and I'm going to click on view checkout. And this is what it will look like to check out, right? So they put in their email address, they put in their name, and then they click next. I'm going to do, let's test this out. And then let's put my name and let's see, let's see how this works. And then you're taken to this next screen where you're able to actually pay with your Bitcoin, your ETH and your Doge, all these other coins that are available. And this is a pretty super easy um, interface. Like it's not difficult. They just put in their name, their email address, and then they're able to connect and pay through Coinbase. So this is a simple way of being able to um, accept crypto into your business and businesses are moving into the future. So definitely do not get left behind. A lot of people are doing transactions with crypto. Um, so definitely add this to your business. Like I said, if you guys want me to, I will show you um, how to integrate this with Shopify and WooCommerce. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll definitely do that tutorial for you. Um, but for now, definitely just go ahead. You can create single products this way, and then you can just grab the links and then put the links wherever it is that you want to put them. So this is a simple, easy way of being able to uh, allow your customers to shop using crypto. So again, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming, so I don't want you to miss out on anything. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. And definitely, I love the fact that so many of you are subscribing. Thank you so much for helping me build my channel and helping me to be able to continue to give valuable information. So definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys.